Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going through a few landscape photography challenges that you can set yourself to aid your photography awareness and subject perception and hopefully have a little bit of fun at the same time as well. Number one is the one colour challenge. I've put this one first because it's by far my favourite and it has been a proven learning technique for photographers around the world for years. All you need to do is pick one single colour, let's say red, and then head out on a photography mission and all the photos you take on that day should be centred around the color red. Let's say you notice a little barn with a red door or a red car or even a red letterbox on a country lane. It doesn't have to be the only colors in the photographs that you take but it does have to be the clear subject or direction behind the images. The one color challenge is a super simple way to force your eye to look around at your surroundings in more detail, train your perception of the environment or hunt for shots that you might miss normally. You could do this for just one day or every day for a week, whatever floats your boat. Another added bonus of doing this challenge is you're going to figure out the colours you like working with most when it comes to photography and how to post process those colours. Next up we've got the boring location challenge. I mean this one's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to head to a location that's perceived by you as boring or maybe just a bit underwhelming. You're then going to challenge yourself to get the best photos from that location you possibly can, tell a story of the location despite the fact that it's not a mountaintop or the Grand Canyon. This is a great one because not everybody has access to amazing locations 20 24 7 but the main benefit of this is it's going to make you really focus in and have to hunt for details and good compositions within these boring locations. Off the back of that we've got a slightly more advanced location based challenge called the location repeat. In this one I invite you to visit a location either once every day for a week or once every week for a full month. This one can be a bit tedious especially if you opt for that once every day of the week one but it is also going to have the most benefits out of all the challenges I'm listing today because it's going to allow you to see the same location in different light, different conditions with hopefully different things happening at them as well. This results in you learning as a photographer which of those times of day and which conditions you like photographing in the most and which conditions have the biggest effect on how your final images come out. It also shows you how something as small as one day or one week can drastically change the photographs you can achieve from these locations. At number four we've got the one five challenge. For this one you're going to go out, find and pick one static subject the key is on static, don't pick something that's moving or anything like that. And you're going to try and create five unique, very different photographs from that same static subject. I particularly like this challenge because it encourages you when you get and find a subject to not just take that one hero image, it pushes you to get more detailed shots, more angles, different perspectives. It massively, massively improves your ability to find and create photo sets. And not only that, it improves your ability when it comes to getting hired by a customer and clients and companies that are going to want more than one hero image of their product or whatever it is that you're photographing for them. They're not going to want one image as the deliverable, they're going to want a full story of images and this challenge really really aids that. To wrap up this video I'm going to end it with the focal length challenge. This is probably the simplest of all of them I've mentioned today. You're going to head out with one lens, one camera and shoot at one focal length. If you're a prime user you need to leave all your other lenses at home and if you're a zoom lens user then you need to lock your lens off at one focal length and not shoot at any other focal length for the day. The best thing about this challenge is it pushes you to move around more, use your feet and frame up your compositions and shots a little bit slower with a little bit more accuracy. You're losing the ability to zoom so you have to use your eye and your feet and properly look through the viewfinder when you're framing your shots up. It also makes you learn a lot about your own photography in terms of which focal lengths you actually prefer shooting at which in turn is then going to make lens purchases and gear upgrades in the future a lot more easier or even packing a minimal camera bag a lot more easier which I kind of touched on in my last video check that out if you're interested all right that wraps up five landscape photography challenges you can set yourself let me know if you enjoyed this and I can do a part two or five more or whatever that's it from me today thanks so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one